imagine a city that has enough big events to support a place like that? Because I know there's often been the criticism that downtown Hamilton, Hamilton's not a convention city, it's not a conference city, we hear that all the time. Uh, is that true and is that changing? It's starting to change and part of the big reason why it's changing is because of the investments that Brancor has made into the hotel infrastructure mm. in Hamilton. So now, for the first time in a long time, we're able to attract a lot of those big conventions and our team at the convention center, headed by our uh, Director of uh, Operations, or Director of Sales, uh, Amar Balika and Debbie Russ, who's our, who's our uh, executive vice president at the convention center. They're doing an amazing job in attracting big conventions and working with Rancor and Tourism Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, Tourism Hamilton just launched their Tourism Action Plan that, that uh, was before City Council about a month ago. And we were excited to see that bold thinking and ambitious thinking is coming back to tourism and, and to putting an emphasis on tourism because uh, we've learned that we can bring back those conventions that are right now going to London, Mississauga, Markham, Kitchener, Waterloo. Uh, we know that we can compete with those cities for those mid-market, mid-sized conventions yeah. and, uh, and bring that action back to Hamilton. Yeah, because it, you know it's frustrating because on one hand we are a city that's located right in the middle of the country, mm -hmm. kind of, sort of, uh, certainly in a, in a very, very heavy, heavily populated area, uh, but we don't see a lot of those major conventions, or at mm -hmm. least we haven't in a right. while. So how many more hotel rooms do we need? How much more investment do we need in the core before we're really able to compete on equal uh, footing? I think that the, there is room for one or two more hotel rooms downtown, mm. and certainly the, the rooms that Vrancor has added have been tremendous, but there is room for more hotel space. The City of London has a population half that of Hamilton, yet they have three times as many wow. hotel rooms. So naturally, they're in a great position to attract more conventions, more meetings, and so I think that another couple hundred rooms can definitely be a welcome addition to the to the hospitality landscape, and that would that would ultimately uh, result in more conventions, more meetings, mm -hmm. more great uh, events coming to Hamilton. We certainly have enough parking lots to build on, so here's here's <laughs> to hoping. Absolutely. But I wanted to ask you know because one of the big events you guys just were home to mm -hmm. was uh, in fact the Junos. Sure. And uh, uh, we've, we've got some pictures of those. We're going to bring those up in a second. But um, what was it like hosting the Junos? I mean, this is the biggest of the big in, in the Canadian entertainment industry. It was uh, very surreal, uh, let's uh, let's say that. But we were very uh, excited and proud to have been the, the host of the Junos Gala, which took place on the Saturday, Saturday night at the convention center. So we had 1,300 people uh, seated wow. uh, in the convention center. So we had to serve uh, serve a lot of people. Uh, great food. And, oh, there we uh, go. They're right on the screen. And uh, it was, yeah, the, the venue looked incredible. Uh, and uh, we were proud with the, the team delivering uh, uh, 1,300 filet mignons and a variety of vegetarian <laughs> meals at the same time. And, uh, and so it was a great event. Uh, a lot of the acts um, just seeing them walk in uh, and mingle amongst, you know, the crowd was pretty, pretty amazing. You yeah, know, Getty yeah. Lee from the band Rush was there in the front row, just walking in casually. Yeah. And, and I actually walked past him. I was on the way to the press gallery, and Getty Lee walked past, and I thought, boy, that's not something you see every day downtown Hamilton. No, <laughs> it's not, and, and that's that was exciting. It brought yeah. a lot of buzz to the city, and and uh, and our hotel was obviously. Uh, uh, one of the host hotels uh, up on the mountain, and uh, we had a few performers uh, staying there. And, and pictures so of them actually staying. Uh, we're going to bring those up on the screen here too. And, for a uh, and so it was it was really nice to uh, to see some of them enjoying Hamilton. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. obviously while they're here.